All right, I've been doing automotive electrical work for a number of years now, and uh, I've struggled with a good way to attach copper ring terminals to the end of heavy gauge battery cable. And I've come up with what I feel like is a pretty good method for doing this. So what I'm gonna do is guide you step by step through the method that I use for attaching these terminals. Okay, what we're gonna do is make up a short length of battery cable. I have all the tools and materials here necessary laid out. What I have is a set of cable cutters, and I have a coaxial cable stripper right here, and this uh, I found works pretty good for stripping the insulation back off of heavy gauge battery cable. We have a little bit of solder, and uh, the actual cop copper terminal that we'll be attaching to the end of the battery cable. Some flux. We have a, uh, a lug crimper right here, actual battery cable that we're going to be working with, and then our uh, propane torch. What this does is it uh, eliminates any corrosion that might have built up at the end of the cable. I will go ahead and take our coaxial strippers and strip back a small length of insulation. Okay, we've got about a half an inch of copper wire exposed here. We're going to take that and make sure it fits on our, our lug just fine. It fits in there pretty good. And uh, we've got about maybe an eighth inch or less of exposed copper wire here. We actually need that exposed copper wire uh, to prevent the insulation from burning while we're doing our soldering and to give us a place to wick the solder in. So, so this looks like it fits well. Now before we put that on there, we're going to need to get some flux on the wire, so this is a flux paste. I like to heat it up just a little bit with the torch, that makes it easy to dab just a little bit on the end of the wire. We don't want a whole lot here because if we get too much it'll start burning as we're doing our soldering. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to mechanically crimp the lug on the end of the wire here. Uh, what I've got right here, this is a, just an inexpensive lug crimper, and it actually it works really good. Uh, you can use a hammer to, to put the lug in here and then strike the surface with to crimp it, uh, but I actually like to do it a little bit more controlled inside of my vise. Just like that. And then we'll open up our vise. Put the tool inside the vise. Okay, once we've got it in place here, just tighten down a little bit until we I encounter some resistance. Okay, right about there. Okay, as you can see, the terminal's crimped pretty good on the battery cable. Um, you know, in a lot of cases this is good enough, but uh, I like to solder mine just for some additional electrical conductivity and some assurance that this uh, terminal won't pull off the end of the cable. So what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and clamp this battery cable up in our vise. Now once we've got the battery cable held firmly in place so it's not going to move around on us, we'll go ahead and fire up our torch here. Okay, once I start seeing a little bit of smoke and the flux starting to boil back up along the wire, then I'll go ahead and start feeding my solder in there.
I'll just continue feeding solder in. until I see it start to uh, run out the bottom of the battery terminal. Alright, looks like our battery terminal is full of solder now. Well, we'll give it a minute or two to cool back down and uh, that's all there is to it. Alright, I've gone ahead and let the cable cool down and as you can see right here it's nice and firmly attached. Uh, it's got a good mechanical connection so we don't have to worry about the battery cable pulling out of the terminal and a good electrical connection so we don't have to worry about it heating up under heavy current loads. So, um, A lot of times I'll heat shrink these uh, just so we, we uh, insulate this connection right here. Um, this particular battery cable is going into uh, just a ground application so I'm really not worried about this being exposed. It's going to be bolted to an exposed piece of metal anyway. So. Now this one right here I've went ahead and left the heat shrink off of. Um, you can definitely do that or even add electrical tape if you need to to insulate it. So, Alright, I hope you found my guide for crimping heavy gauge copper battery terminals onto battery cable useful. Thanks for watching.